how do we solve this beast? It's a monster of a question. I agree with you. It looks scary. But if you look closely, look what we have here. We have exponents. We have division. We have multiplication. We have addition. We have negative numbers, positive numbers, subtraction. In other words, what we're doing is we're putting all of the ideas that we've learned so far with regards to positive and negative decimal values, and we're going to put them all together into one question. So don't start with this lesson unless you've mastered all of the previous ones before. Otherwise, this will not make any sense to you. It's also worth to note that we have, we were not going to use calculators. Okay. What you have to do is you have to do everything on paper and pencil. In my class, you're not going to be using calculators at this part of the year. So you have to review the stuff we did, let's say grade seven. I think I've made lessons on how to multiply decimal numbers, how to divide decimal numbers, adding and subtracting. We've already reviewed of the decimal value. So you just have to perhaps review the multiplication and division. I'll give a quick recap on it and hopefully that refreshes your memory. If not, go back to those lessons and review them. What's the first thing we do with regards to this question here? Well, we have to get out our bed mass equation. Now it's not an equation. It's just a way to remember what to do. Now, did you know that you have to use bed mass for any equation? And the reason I'm saying this is because I've had students in the past ask me, well, Mr. Malham, how do we know we have to use bed mass here and, and not use it there? Well, my answer to that is you have to use bed mass all the time, even for questions as simple as one plus one. You still have to use bed mass. You just have to use only one letter though, the A. There's nothing else going on. So the answer to that is you use bed mass for any equation. So we're going to use it in this year. Let's start with brackets. Any brackets? Well, we have a lot of brackets. Yeah, I could see that. And I know a lot of you are thinking that. But there's no equation in the bracket. So we skip the B. We go to exponents and we do have exponents. So I'm going to underline exponents and I'm going to do it first. I'm going to do it on the side. Let's do it right. Let's do it right here. 1.4 to the power of two just means 1.4 times 1.4. Okay. Now I'm going to multiply like you know how to multiply. I'm not going to go ahead and explain how to multiply. You just follow along and I'm going to move it up here. So I have a little bit more room. Now I'm going to go 4 and 4 is 16, 4 times 1 plus 1 is 5, put a 0, 1 and 4, 1 and 1, 6, 9, 1. Decimal, I have two numbers, so I go two numbers back, I've got 1.96. So this becomes 1.96, and now I rewrite everything else, plus 2.7 divided by 0 0.9 times 2.6. It sounds tedious. It looks tedious, but it's necessary. Negative 8.3 and I can squeeze that in 2.3. Now we go on to step two. We have done the exponents. So I can scratch brackets off. I can scratch off exponents. Now I go to division multiplication and I've color coded them the same way because whichever one comes first, Left to right in the equation is what you do first. So what do we have? We have, okay, we have division coming up first. I'm not going to look at this equation anymore. I'm looking at this one here. That's the one that I'm at right now. So I have division. I'm going to underline it. How do we divide these? Oh my God, that's a decimal. How do we divide decimals? Okay, I'll give you a quick, quick review on that. I don't need this anymore. So I have 2.7 divided by 0.9. It's long division time. So 0 0.9, let's make it 9-ish. So we have 2.7, 0 0.9. All you do is you look at this number and you get rid of the decimal. Bump it up forward one time. That turns it into a 9. This turns that then after, you have to be fair. If you do it to this one, you got to do it to that number. That turns this one into 27. Oh, what's, what's 27 divided by 9? It's 3. So I'm going to get 3 here. I'm, I'm going to erase this to make spot a spot here. And now I've got three. I'm going to rewrite everything else. And let's do a little bit of color coding. I'm going to go plus, I'm going to go 1.96. I've got, now I'm done division. So this is gone. I've got times 2.6 plus negative 8.3 minus 2.3 positive. I can't fit in the positive. I'll just write that. Hope you can read my writing. 
Now the next step, actually I can't even read my writing, let me change that. Okay, we got times 2.6 plus negative 8.3. And you go ahead and you write everything I'm writing down. I need you to keep along with me here. That's the best way you're going to learn this stuff. 2.3. Okay, next step, what do we have? We're done division. Any more? Okay, well, we have multiplication next. So we've done division. We're going to go to multiplication. I have it right here. Okay, so I just multiply these. So I'm going to have to multiply a decimal number again. I have 3 times 2.6. So I'm just going to write 2.6 first because it's longer. I'll write the 3 below. That way I can organize my work better. Now I've got 3 times 6 is 18. This makes 7. Decimal goes here. 7.8 comes down. And everything else gets rewritten above. I'm going to erase my work. I'm going to write plus 3 or plus... 1.96, I have, this is all gone, this is wiped out, so I have a plus sign here, I have negative 8.3, I've got subtract positive 2.3. Now what's next? Well, we've done all this multiplication, division stuff, we have addition, subtraction, and I color-coded them, guess why? Yes, because I have to do them in any order that they appear, going left to right, so I have addition, Addition, subtraction. That's the order that I do it in. But remember what we do when we're adding and subtracting decimal values that are positive and negative. We want to make everything addition. Look what we have here. We have subtraction. So how do we fix that? Right. We switch the signs with the number after it. Since that's a positive and that's a negative, I can just go in. I can erase that with my eraser. I can erase that positive erase that negative, and just switch them around and make this the positive to make it addition and make that the negative. There, now I can go ahead and do everything I've learned. I need symbols in front of every number. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a positive here because I don't see anything. I assume it's positive. This is adding 7.8. If you don't see a symbol, it's a positive 7.8. Now all the numbers have symbols, and I can just go back to my strategies. How do I add these two up? Okay, well, look, symbols are the same, so I add the numbers. Let's do it on top. We have 1.96, 7.8, line the decimals. That makes 6, 17, 9.76. Is a positive or negative? Bigger number is 7. It's got a positive, so we go positive 9.76. I'm going to write positive 9.76. All right, now what do we have here? We have, this is gone. I've done it. Now I have this here coming up. I have plus negative 8.3 plus negative 2.3. But my friends, what do we do next? Left to right, exactly. We have more addition coming up. The signs are different, so we subtract them. Great. Now you can see this does take a little bit of time. I'm explaining it, so I'm going to go a little bit slower. But when you've mastered this, it's still going to take you a little bit of time, but you need to get fast at this. So I've got this. I'm going to subtract them. Big number first. 9 is bigger than 8. I don't care if they're positives or negatives. I'm just going to look at the 9 and the 8. So 9.76 comes first. And 8.3 goes below it. 8.3. When I subtract, I'm going to get 6 four, one, and nine is bigger than eight. I don't care about the signs. I'm just looking at the numbers. And nine is a positive, so the answer will be positive. I have positive. This is all gone now. I've done it. 1.46 added to negative 2.3. Great. Look, the signs are different. We have to subtract again. So I'll make some space up here. I'm going to subtract these two, ignoring the signs. I have 2 is bigger than 1, so 2 goes first. So I have 2.3 minus 1.46. And we can move bed mass down because he's getting in the way. We're going to subtract these, go minus. So we have 0 take away 6, can't do it. So he's gone. This becomes 4. Now I'm subtracting like you understand how to subtract. So I'm not going to go ahead and explain how to do this. You get 0 0.84, but what's bigger? 
Ignore the signs. Two is bigger than one. Two is a negative. So the answer is negative. And that's going to be our final answer because we've done this. There's nothing left. I just get 0 0.84. If you understood the last question, you don't need to watch this here. You could just go ahead and try it on your own. Otherwise, keep watching and learn. What do we do here? We get our bed mass out. And then we go ahead and see what's up. Brackets. Yes, we do have brackets and we do have an equation in the brackets. Even though it's addition and addition comes way down here, we still have to do it first because it's in the brackets. So how do we add these? Okay, great. This is addition, which is what we need. Now we look at the signs. Okay, well, this is a positive, right? We don't see a symbol. That's a positive 3.7. That's a negative. They're different. They don't get along, right? So we get a minus. We get to minus these two. Three comes first. This number comes second. Remember, ignore the symbols. Just look at the numbers. Subtract them. 1.1. Positive or negative? Yes, positive. Because 3 is bigger than 2 and 3 is positive. Ignoring all those other signs. Just look at the numbers. We have positive 1.1. So the brackets, all this gets cleaned up and it just turns into 1.1. Now we're going to times by 3.2. Write it out. Minus negative 2.7 to the power of 2. Don't change. I know some of you are looking at this. You're going to be like, oh, I'm going to make this positive and make this positive. No. Do it at the right time. Once you get to addition, subtraction, then make those changes. Don't do them yet or you're going to get the wrong answer. You might get the wrong answer in some cases. So how, how do we do this now? We've done the brackets. We move on to exponents. There it is. So let's go ahead and figure that out. That means... Negative 2.7 multiplied by negative 2.7. They're both negatives. I won't write the negatives in yet. Let's do, uh, let's go like this and erase it. I'm just going to multiply the numbers first. 7 and 7. 14 and 4 is 18. Don't put the decimal yet. Start a new row. 2 and 7 is 14. Carry the 1. 2 and 2 and 1 is 5. So we get 9. We got 12 and 7. Two decimal spaces. There, two decimal spaces, 7.29. This mess here, this exponent, just turns into positive. Because there, there's two negative. This is a negative, and that's a negative. Multiplied together. Remember, negative times negative is positive. So we get a positive 7.29. We got our minus sign here. We bring down 3.2. We bring this down, 1.1, positive. And we move to the next step. Division and multiplication in the order that they appear. There is no division. Great. Okay, so we just do multiplication. Go ahead and try this. Try to beat me to it. See if you can get the answer before me. No calculators. So we're going to go 1.1 times 3.2. We multiply them. We're going to get 2 times 2 here, and then 0. Put a 3 and 3 here. That's a 3, 2, 5, 3. Two decimal spaces, so two decimal spaces. 3.52 minus positive 7.29. Okay, that's a positive 3.52, right? Both are positive numbers. Okay, great. Now we have one more step, but we don't like this step because look what's happening. Yes, that's a minus, that's a positive. We don't like that. We want to always add, always. So we're going to change this here and erase it, switch them around. So this becomes switched. We're going to go plus, and this becomes minus. Now we look at the signs, they're different. What does different mean? Different means, yeah, they don't get along, so we have to subtract them. So we'll just take the numbers, ignore the signs, just take the numbers. Big number comes first, small number comes second. Yeah, I understand 3.52, which was positive, and it's bigger than negative 7.29, but we're ignoring the signs when we do this. We don't need those signs. The signs just help us decide if we're adding or subtracting. So now, since they're different, we subtract. Big number comes first, 7.29. Now we subtract, we get 7. This becomes 6. This becomes 7. 
three. And now we say, okay, seven is bigger than three. Seven is a negative. Negative answer as well. And that's our final answer.